Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Let's go shopping. And by let's go shopping, I mean, we're gonna pull up IG and I'm gonna purchase everything that is advertised to me. And then we'll time travel together. And when it arrives, we're gonna satisfyingly rip into packages. I'm gonna do awkward modeling. If it's clothing that I purchase, we'll try the products. If it's something of that nature, and we're just gonna have a good old kickback shopping online adventure together. I love these kind of videos. I've never, I've never done this. <laughs> also, we're gonna get to see if the mystery of your phone spying on you, listening to you is true, I think it's more the cookies, which have you ever seen that meme of like the, the woman who's like accepting the cookies and it's like, what, what are cookies? Like, do we even really understand what this is? Like, are you, how are you tracking me? How intense is this? You know, we get those ad pop-ups that uh, feel sometimes like it's reading your mind. I mean, is it? Is that possible? Because it kind of freaks me out. No joke. I will sometimes like say something into my phone, like just being funny, like I'm looking for a red sweater, a red sweater or whatever it might be just to see if it's going to find me <laughs> a red sweater. And there have been occasions where I have actually been like, oh, you know, so leave me in the comments. Have you had this phenomenon happen? where you're thinking something and then IG's like, here you go. Because it's both helpful and super creepy, but we're gonna dive on in. Three, two, one, we're screen recording. I did not preview this, so this potentially could be kind of embarrassing because I did not preview or edit the things that I saved. The first one that's popping up is something that was advertised to me over and over and over. And literally this is one of those where I would like sit in bed, like all like with your chin down, you can kind of gaze that weird reflection of yourself in the phone after you've had a rough day and up pops Bobby Brown. And she's like, you know, we had to name this product Miracle Balm. This balm. It really is a miracle. And I'm like, you had me at miracle. I need that in my cart, ready, set, go. Let's buy this, try this. Is this her new line? I just know that she was like talking about the formulation. I don't know anything about this brand. Do you? Do we need to explore it together? I'm gonna order, gosh, what do I wanna order here? The face pencil, what is this? That was just a second, what's this? Innovative formula, you never knew you needed. I must try this. Okay, so we're gonna do the just a second. What color? Topaz, golden peach. Oh, wait, golden peach. Oh, stop, please. Oh, free shipping on 85. Pewter. Oh, bronze. Yes, that looks nice. I see pink, linen. How about bronze? Ooh, and golden peach. And maybe one more. Shoot. Let's do linen just for like an inner corner moment if that needs to happen. Okay, let's see here. This is not sponsored. They don't even know me. I'm buying all of this stuff myself and we will do a very real, is it good, is it bad review? We're gonna do the Miracle Balm. I don't know to get the, I don't know which one. Find my shade. All right, so it is picking out my, no, really? Is that really what you recommend, Tawny? All right, we're trying it. This is what they recommended. We're trying it. I really want the foundation too. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Oh, sold out, sold out. Okay, let's just do medium. Um, I'm kind of like a medium woman right now. I have been out in the sun quite a bit. Okay, so that's it for Jones Road. I'll check out in a moment. Oh yes, I really like wanted so badly. Oh my gosh, there's this is all closed. This is embarrassing. The rejuvenation. Why did I? Oh, I have a I have a door latch as a saved item. Oh, a knife set. Okay. This is kind of funny to me. Those are some cute sunglasses. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's see here. Pretty cute. Um, tell me, I'm not going to order jeans right now, but please tell me in the comments, what are your favorite brands of jeans at the moment? I want to share something that is a moment of like, yes, we're doing this to me, but also is a little bit embarrassing. Um, I recently split through two pairs of jeans because she is finally at a place where muscle is being gained, my workouts are more consistent, I'm eating better, better than ever, and my anxiousness is not 
anywhere near where it used to be. And finally, I feel like more womanly and I'm gaining some pounds, but none of my pants are fitting. Like literally I was plie squatting into my jeans and you hear this big, huge rip and right through the butt, the whole thing just ripped apart. And I'm like, that sucks. I put on another pair and the exact same thing happened. So I was like, James, I need a new wardrobe, like I need new pants. I'm finally getting a booty, which I'm a part of like the pancake booty club. Like I can lunge forever and ever and ever and just nothing will happen. It's just kind of like how it is and like, yay, let's like accept our body. But like I am working overtime to really have some gains, but it's gonna mean I need some new pants too, right? Let's see here. So we're gonna go into my cool collection. Hey, and? Oh my gosh, speaking of, oh my gosh, no, I need this. I actually really need this. I want this so bad. <gasps> We're gonna go there. So this is the Bella Booty Hip Thrust Anytime, Anywhere. Stop this. What's this, you ask? This is the Bella Booty Belt, and it's the most comfortable and efficient way to hip thrust. The Bella Booty Belt is made with soft, slip-resistant padding, high-quality Velcro, okay, and a Okay, enough. To We're trying it. To we're trying it. We are ordering it. Add to cart. Okay, what else can we find here? Oh, I thought these were the prettiest, prettiest like hand jewelry. Like check this out. Is this really weird or is it actually cool? I don't know. I'm kind of unsure about it. I'm gonna order one, we'll find out. Oh, cause I love, I love a good ear cuff, you guys. Like I don't know what it is, but I feel when I just have like the messy bun up, if I have like cool ear jewelry, I just feel prettier and more pulled together. So I'm gonna order a couple of things from Jose, Josely Jewelry. I've been wanting to for a minute. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Um, Wait, <laughs> I think I need to order this too. This is one of those machines that literally, like this could be helpful actually for filming. You put it on and it like buzzes if you're like slouching which I have admittedly the worst posture. This has been something I've had to focus on. I focus a lot on um, building muscles in my back, even though my body really likes to be tiny and I'm, I'm never gonna be one that bulks up by any means. But I try to support my back as much as I can. I've been in a couple of really crazy car accidents. Definitely have had my time in a chiropractic, physical therapist's office, you know, and, and it, it, my shoulders tend to go forward. So I saw this and I'm like, if that worked, that'd be amazing. I'm gonna order it. Done. So we've got a little makeup. We have a back thing. We have a workout thing. I'm gonna place my orders. And then when it all arrives, we're gonna unpack it, play with it and see how it goes. And I hope you guys like this format of a video. Let's dive right into the future. Okay. And we are in the future and almost everything has arrived except for wah, 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 one package, which should be here in a couple of days and I'll jam it in at the end of this, but I just could not wait any longer. So we have all of the goods here. How's your day going? I've already filmed one video. It was a very ultra juicy Q and A that I am so excited to post. I talk about things that I really didn't think I would talk about, but I asked you guys on IG what you all wanted to know about. And everyone's like, we wanna know about the spiritual things. We wanna know about your weight gain. We wanna know about just like random stuff that kind of got me off to the races. And it's a, a very triggering video for some people. I'm sure it will be very triggering, but I will work on getting that edited and up soon. Subscribe and ring the bell. This makeup is what I do in that video, which I love. So much new stuff tried on in action with like a lot of juice. Back to this video though. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Bella Booty Band. The moment we're done digging through Jones Road, which I'm gonna try on, and the jewelry. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my yoga pants and we're gonna see how this thing goes. Isn't it so Instagram that you see like these ads and it just looks so much more substantial and like, wow, that is life changing. Like I need that. And then you order it and you're like, you know, however many dollars later and you're like, it's just a, it's like a fabric with Velcro. I don't, I don't know. You put the weights in here, you put it around, you thrust your way to a bigger booty. This is going to um, bootify me and get me to that next 
level. Okay, so life is too short to wear boring jewelry. Amen to that. What cute packaging here. How adorable is that? Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. We have jewelry here and ooh, how does this thing work? I will have to let you guys know, I am like princess and the pea when it comes to jewelry. If there is anything funky in the metal, my body will let me know in like, mm, like 15 minutes, I'll itch, my skin will turn. So this should be okay, but you know, I will let you know, cause this was not cheap, but it is really, really cool. Okay, is that not like, it's kind of fun. You don't see jewelry like this every day of the week. You know what I'm saying? I would fully wear this to an event. Like I would do like simple chic, like imagine no jewelry, like more elegant nails for sure. Like if this was a dress, which this is by Lily Silk, this top is so soft. Oh my goodness. This is just like really pretty. It's really sparkly too. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have like a hand modeling moment. Look at that. <laughs> fully back in the egg yolk coffee again. I will put the ingredients over on IG. It's really simple, um, but I'll link what I use for cold brew, the milk. I put egg yolks in there. I put reishi in there. I put maple, salt, and oh my gosh, blend it up is so, so good. All right, so I'm not disappointed with the jewelry. It was a little bit expensive if you ask me, but the quality is supposed to be great, so let's just hope that that is what happens. Okay, so here we are with Jones Road. Cool, clean makeup, all right. For product tips from Bobby, tells you where to go. I have to share with you all, I, back in the day, was like Bobby Brown's number one fan. Like I, like I was her number one fan. I read her books like line by line, taking notes, page by page. And when I was like 15, I was really trying to educate myself. I was like, I'm gonna be a makeup artist and I just need to know everything. So I would like memorize the shade names. I'd write down the prices of things and like fantasize about the day when I could afford makeup because I was 15 with no job and couldn't afford any of the makeup that she made. But uh, yeah, I've been such a fan of her work. So she is the creative genius behind Jones Road. It is a clean line. Jones Road Miracle Balm. I have Tawny. Was this the one they recommended for me though? Do you remember like I did the quiz? What the heck is this stuff? It smells like, oh no, it smells like a, a, a breakout is on the way with how emollient and, and essential oily it is. Slightly intimidated, not gonna lie. We have some of these eye guys. Jones Road Just A Sec Eyeshadow. We have bronze. Ooh, it's like puffy and putty-like and pretty. Linen, kind of a cool tone, creamy shade. Golden peach, um, it's a golden peach shade, if you were curious. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is just like kind of basic stuff, but I was really intrigued, you know? And then I have the What The Foundation Medium Moisture Tint. So let's take some micellar wipes and uncover the truth. Whenever you are doing like take the makeup off, it's just like, mm. Mm hmm yep, we were covering up quite a bit there, weren't we? Okay. I'm gonna try and save the brows though because we all know how I feel about doing my brows. We are closer now and you can see more of my imperfections. Yay. Let's just dive in. All right, I'm gonna use this kind of, how are you supposed to use this though? Do you really use it as primer? I'm concerned. Jones Road. How to use. Break the top surface of the balm with your index finger. Really? Okay. And then warm it up to soften the formula. Apply the balm using your fingertips, palms, or a brush or a sponge onto cheeks, lips, eyelids, or anywhere you want a tint or glow. Okay, so this is gonna more so go on top of foundation, but I just first wanna kinda, like I'm just curious what this is about. Could you put it underneath to like super hydration yourself and then do the foundation? Yeah, you probably could. Um, I'm really happy that I actually went to the site and read up on this again because I had forgotten 
And I would probably just go in with a brush and be like, it's not picking anything up. Uh, so it definitely needs to be warmed up with your fingertips. The seal needs to be broken. Let's go and take a look at the what the foundation to make sure that I'm doing that correctly as well. It looks really shimmery to me. This is the shade, this is medium. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, I all of a sudden am like having the cringiest memory of being a teenager and going to the Bobbi Brown counter because like I said, I was like a big fan, huge fan. And you could go and get foundation matched and then they would give you like this little plastic case with like a few squirts of foundation in it. And when I tell you that I made that last, I used the shade Shell. I felt like I was the coolest and I may have visited the counters too often for samples. I couldn't afford the bottle. So I would stock out this counter and I'd be like, I'm the shade Shell, medium. Okay, let's do a little concealing first just cause I know I'm gonna want that. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm literally going like this, like with my hand. What am I? Okay. Okay. We're good. I'm going to go in with a stippling brush. Just going to kind of swirl it, whirl it. We're going to go in. I kind of feel like this is the kind of product that you might need perfect skin for. You know what I'm saying? Like you might need to have no discoloration and have really, really perfect skin. My skin quality right now is great. I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I would change is pigmentation. What I'm saying is I love the idea of sheer formulas, um, but I don't love the idea of all of this poking through. So I'm kind of, that's my judgment on it. You know what I'm saying? But this is making the skin look evened out and hydrated. Like no one would even know that you have makeup on. This is literally like the like fabulous, I'm so beautiful with no makeup kind of a thing. Like imagine that I'm just wearing like a little mascara and like a little brow and like some cute lip balm or something and this and it'd be like, wow, does she like even wear makeup? I don't know. That's this kind of a product. So I think it's good. Is it making me like, oh my gosh, like, wow. No, but that could be a me issue. This balm situation though, I think I can really get on board with it. I wanna play with this with my more full coverage products and see how that goes. I am curious though, like this as like a, ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> that is really pretty. In real life, the way it's translating is literally like I'm the healthiest person of all. Wow, can we do this like on the body? I'm gonna do that maybe. Yeah, this is like a very delicious product. It says you can use it on the lips too. There's something about it I really, really like. Granted, I just took off everything, every inch of contour and bronzer and blush and highlight and the full coverage that I had going before and then just wiped this on for 2.2. But I do have to say, there's something about this that I do really love. I don't know that this foundation is like, again, my kind of a thing. It's like a tinted moisturizer. It's a little, little, it's a gel oily slip to it. But these right here are really nice. I am going to go ahead and put this guy right here. Just a sec. Let's kind of see what we can come up with on our eyes. Okay, well, if you're into like clean girl makeup and you like that fresh, glowy, sweaty, is she wearing makeup, is she not? type of a product. I think this brand is solid. I want to put on that ear cuff. Let's see here. How is this working? I'm having slight like technical difficulties. Ooh. All right. I don't know that I like that. It's kind of like not, it's not wanting to. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I got it. All right. That's different. And yeah. I, that's my kind of thing. I love unique jewelry and I would totally wear this. I can't wait to, I don't have any events upcoming that I would need to dress up, but when I do, this is really, really pretty. Okay, let's change it up, get in the yoga gear and hit the gym. This makeup is literal sweat fest, sweaty vibes. It looks like I have already done my Bella Booty Belt 
and been moving and grooving and all of it, but I have not. I kind of like the sweaty look, glowy, glossy look. It feels a little bit weird, like a little heavy. I might play with it in different ways, but anyway, let's go and see if we can get James to film me in the living room. Um, hip thrusting. Let's go make it happen. Oh, hey. Oh, you're watching golf? Do you rather watch me hip thrust with my Bella booty belt? I am not camera ready right now. Um, I cannot believe you're even filming me. We'll put like a, I'm covering you. You're not even here. Is what it is a that? cast? Is it? It's like a sling, it's, shoulder harness thing. Yeah, it's my hip thrusting belt. What is that? It's a hip thruster. Welcome to my very messy gym. Um, this is where I spend a lot of time lunging and doing exercises. It's really glamorous. The lighting's great also. This is my mat. And Hi, Matt. Uh, hello. And this is where I take awkward IG photos for my stories. And I try to like suck it in really hard. I try to do this. It doesn't work out. But hopefully I won't have to um, do that after using my Bella booty belt. Bella booty. <laughs> my Bella seashell she sells Bella booty belt. Say that 10 times fast. You will have a bigger booty. You will. Okay, let's get some dumbbells and get out of here. You guys deserve better scenery. What poundage should I do? 15. 15 on here, you think? No. I don't know. I don't know. Think? I have no idea what that thing is. We're gonna go with the 10s. Yes, I'm, I'm tiny. Okay, let's go. Also, hot dogs are rock. Or should I say float? <laughs> Do the Baywatch run. Where is it? It's inside. Thanks. I'm filming. Go get the belt. It's getting hot out here. Uh, so I guess we go like this. That. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, well. <laughs> Not a fitness expert. Hey, it's actually it's burning. I bet. <laughs> Bella booty burns. That is phenomenal. Ten out of ten. I highly recommend. Do you feel it in your butt? I feel it in my butt. Um, I'm I am I could go heavier. It's actually really putting the weight in the right spot. It's not hurting my back. Sweet. All right, you guys, my final package finally arrived. Come on. Okay. Uh, I ordered two things, uh, one of which we're not even gonna get into this fat burning iron. Don't ask or ask. Maybe I'll show it over on IG or something. I just, I did this. How, like if this works, why it would work, what the technology is, but you guys know I love a good tool. Wow, okay, I'm just gonna be ironing myself later tonight. Okay, this is the back straightener, posture corrector, which I need help with. This is what you get. Why did I buy this? You know, I. Oh shoot, it does come charged. Okay, are we for real right now? Can you imagine? Should I do like a makeup tutorial with this thing on and it will like yell at me every time I slouch? Is this how it is? <laughs> how does this thing do work? Okay, let's see here. Does it have to be like on your... No, the girl's modeling it over her clothes. Well, what in the gosh darn heck? What have I ordered here? Like slouching though. Let's see. No, it's not mad at me. It's just like whatever. Let's see here. Let's, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Okay. It's on. And now we're 
going to regret purchasing this some more. You know what, this thing is freaking uncomfortable. I don't know that I would ever wear this at all. Feel the technology. This is like a shop collar, but for your posture. It's just not on. I think I need to charge it. Okay. Freaking donkey sized bird just flew past my window. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna charge that puppy up and I will demo it over on IG. This video probably was a little here, there, everywhere, and I feel like I can get so much better at these shop with me videos. So let me know, do you wanna see Facebook? Should I do like shopping at Sephora on an actual site or TikTok? Just let me know if you enjoy these shop with me slash unbox with me type videos, which I think are really fun and satisfying and uh, yeah, that's where we land. I hope you guys are having a good one. Whatever you are doing, I am here twice a week. Subscribe, ring the bell before you leave and come hang with me again soon. All right, you guys go have a good one. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.